All right, so day 19. It's June. Lightning, wind, rain, rocked the van all night. It was pounding on the top of the van. Um, it never stopped. It just was relentless. This is a big green thing with a point on it. I don't know what it is. It looks like it has bolts. Inlet. It says inlet. So this is in probably water, right? And then there's a bunch of placards. Oh, look at this. This looks like a machine for winding. Cables, I guess. Dang, it's complicated. And that thing. That is awesome. Oh, it's still greasy. <laughs> the Derrick Company, St. Paul, Minnesota. So that's a generator or a motor that drives, probably a motor that drives the real upstream cableway winch. Yeah. Okay. So my hand is getting cold and it's not pleasant. There's the van, there's the dam, and some cool uh, tunnels, three tunnels in a row. So babe, what's gonna happen on this dam tour? I don't know, but um, it's cold, we're gonna get wet, I'm prepared. I wish this dam tour would start, because it's really damn cold uh, at the dam tour. Center. All right, so we spent some time in the visitor center. Yep, now we we're looked at a lot of placards and a movie. We're heading towards this reservoir. And if I can't drop my phone, over the dam. Woo! Look at that. That is. Look at that flowing water. My lord. watching was just saying the struggles that they had building this dam right there in this small shaped canyon uh, a bunch of people died and they just had struggle with the water and the weather and the financing and 
it was quite a undertaking to finally do it. So that would be the power generation station down there. the water because there's so much rain that the reservoir is full. Oh, and there's our van. <laughs> in the parking lot. Okay. We have a long way to go today. Um, 400 miles all the way across Wyoming. So we need to get going. Um, I'm being a little bit short with my video and comments here, but uh, we have to Make haste. Make some miles. Neat. That's a visitor center. Oh yeah, do that. Fourth of July, and they're having a parade in on the main street, and so we're getting detoured. And when I looked at the map yesterday, um, we're turning right here because I think there's like a big circular park I in the middle of town. I can so kind of see a park up there. Right up like. street. Okay. So we have to go around it. All right. And hopefully it won't be too much of a detour because we have a long Not way to go. Much. We are here in Hot Springs, Wyoming. Stopped at this kind of little park in the outskirts of town. And uh, the sulfur smell is really, really strong. <laughs> I think they're sitting on a giant volcano. So this is uh, the hot springs over here. There's a pool over there. It's just like venting. There's a slide. Sulfury, sulfury steam. And there's steam baths. 
like that. Uh, this facility the over here right is there. like where you can go in the pools and There's a soap. slide over there. And a slide, yeah, probably when it's warmer. You would think June you could do that, but it's really freezing here. So this is kind of like a mini Yellowstone. You can see the steaming water and the different colors. And I doubt whether Amanda and Sun stopped here, but I think they should have. Because it's like, it's just like going to Yellowstone. Wow, that's really wild looking. Look at like the ripples. And all the plants that are like growing in that hot sulfury water. That's freaky. And look at the colors. Really neat. Okay, now we're coming up on the swinging bridge, the famous swinging bridge of Hot Springs, Wyoming. Immortalized in story and song for millennia. And we're gonna go on it and see exactly how bad it swings. It's like a suspension bridge. I don't like the Golden Gate, but just for foot traffic. Oh, and there's the river. The river is flowing so high right now. It's... So this says, the world's largest mineral hot spring with an arrow. Okay, so uh, this is the Bighorn River. Wow, this bridge really moves back and forth. It it wobbles. It's I don't say it's swinging. It's wobbly, swaying, kinda. I guess this probably doesn't come through on camera. But it's a little unnerving being over this big of a river with this much water oh my gosh okay does that show it like how much it's swaying <laughs> whoa oh and look at this look at this the minerals are just flowing over right into the river and leaving all that mineral coating onto the rock. That is weird. So I'm getting on the swinging bridge and there are a lot of people in front of me. So I'm gonna wait until they sort of clear out and then I'll, I'll go. So we're gonna cross the, the Bighorn River is from what it sounds like. So here we go. And then over here, then over here you've got some cool like cave rock formations. Look at this. Yeah. And look at the pools like green, greenish. And that guy over there, he has a few like a bone. I think nothing. All right, so we're completing our visit to the Yellowstone, no, not really, Hot Springs, and this cool little park. Look at the rainbow colors. It's really pretty. Pools and pools and pools. Look at the water flowing. <laughs> I have no idea what that gold dome is. I wonder what's in there. Probably like baths and stuff. Inside the river.
All right, so there's another pool here. This one appears to be green. Yeah. There's a nice little bridge that goes over. Hmm. Ooh, really pungent sulfur. Really pretty though. Entering Wind River Canyon, right adjacent to the Wind River Indian Reservation. Bighorn River. Bighorn River to our right, on our way to Shoshone, leaving Thermopolis. That's a newer one out of metal. We're going to tunnels ahead. This is 10 to 1. Okay. Here we go. This may be icy. 10 2. Yeah, just to make it interesting, they make them curvy and tight. So if they're icy, you can go sliding through there and careening off the walls and into other cars. For fun life. Leaving Wind River. Wow. Dang, the baby made short work of that. Good job. This is kind of a cool place. The camping and poison skate. 